guys welcome back I am here today with a fun little challenge that my my husband and I came up with um we decided my husband is not a crafter and I'm sure most of you married crafters out there can relate to that um he's not a crafter he doesn't know about crafting especially other than the little bits and pieces I tell him about or share with him um, and so we decided to do a journal with me challenge where he picks the only craft supplies I can use. They He popped them all here in this envelope. I have no idea what he chose. I don't know what's in this little envelope here, um, but we're going to unpackage it together and see what I can use today. Um, just This is just a bit of fun, just something I decided would be a fun idea and I just feel like sometimes you can get into kind of like a journaling rut in a way where you just seem to use the same supplies over and over and over again because they're your favourites and then you've kind of got a whole lot of these things left over that maybe weren't your first pick but they're still really cool things and it just, I think this challenge will also push me to just, you know, see what I've got here and use some stuff um, that might not have been my first pick stuff but can still be really cool. So... Let's jump in and unpackage this and see what he has picked out for me. So first of all, he's got my corner rounder. I wondered if he did because I went to use it and I couldn't find it. So I thought he might have put that in my package. Here he also picked out scissors. Another thing I was looking for, oh gosh, they're a mess. I was looking for these big scissors and couldn't find them. So I thought he might have popped them in there. Uh, my circle punch very cool I did not think he would be picking out punches for me to use but sure he has picked this light kind of dusty pink ribbon interesting cool we have my Elmer's glitter glue okay we have black sparkly glitter washi tape we have a big roll of um, painters tape which is yellow kind of an orangey yellow we have what is this a that's come out of my round punch that's a little plastic piece we have in here some string we have this packet of napkins i have just dropped something on the ground i have a little coin charm which is a little Oh, I don't even know what that coin is. It's old. 3D. Like, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's an old New Zealand vintage coin. We have, oh, we have a little French kids magazine. Interesting. Cool. I haven't actually used those before in my journaling, so this is a good opportunity. And one black pen, and that is what he has given me. So... I have no idea how I'm going to pull this together. He certainly hasn't made it easy, but that's the challenge and how exciting. Let's go for it. So I'm just going to move everything off to the side here and I will grab from it as I wish. I'm, I'm guessing the string was maybe to attach this charm. He doesn't craft it. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit sick at the moment. I've just got a cold. We had some friends staying at the beginning of this week and um, while they were there her son got sick and I think he's passed it on to me but that's okay because he's a, he's a real sweetie and I love him to bits don't mind at all um, so this here and I put this in my book I'm not going to use it I just thought I'd show you this is my husband here in case any of you are interested in seeing my husband oh and everything is is everything in is everything I hope everything's been um in focus <laughs> I haven't been checking um so Let's get going. I don't know what page I'm going to do this this on specifically, but I could maybe just go with the next page here. I think these pictures in this kids magazine are quite um, colourful, so I don't know, they could kind of match this sort of colourful part here. But let's have a go at making something. So I'm going to just flick through this magazine and see if there's any pictures in here that are speaking to me. None of them are speaking to me because they're all speaking in French and I don't speak French. But we will find something in here that is a cool picture. I like the little illustrations in here. It is really sweet. I just kind of need to find something that I'm like, yeah, that works for me. That's something I can journal about. 
Hmm. Pooping? <laughs> My goodness. Can't even tell you what animal that is because it's in French, so I have no idea. These are these are really sweet little images. I do really like them. Um, but I am not sure what I am going to use here. Well, I could use this page and just use this, like layer this down as kind of a base. So we might tear that page up. Oh, what's this? This looks like a cool sort of Halloween thing. I might keep that for around Halloween. I don't know what it says, but it's quite cute with the little spooky stuff. Um... Hmm. <laughs> this is hard. James has certainly given me a real challenge here with picking out what to do. Well, I might use this page because on the previous page here, I've done these little houses. So I might include some more little houses here and just use it. Excuse my big head. I'm pulling my seat a bit further forward because I feel like I'm too far back. And I'm going to have a cup of tea. Excuse my slurpy sounds. That's disgusting. Um, okay, so we've got some sweet little houses and gardens here. So I might use some of them. I'm not sure if I'm just going to... No, I did tell James I'd do two pages. I would make it a two-page spread. So I can't cheat now. and just do one because it's tricky. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut this down a little bit. These are cute. I'm going to just cut off the answers to whatever this was too. Off the side there. I do like these little, little village picture. I think it is very sweet. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything else we want to include here? This looks like the town planning or something, which is quite cute. Hmm. I quite like these um, branches as well. Let's see what, yeah, I can glue that down. I don't need the pooping creature. But I do quite like these branches. I don't know exactly how I'm going to include them or if I'm going to include this or this. We're just going to, those are things that I quite like out of there. Um, we've got my black washi and my orange washi. I'm thinking the orange actually does kind of match this quite well. And I have my glitter glue to stick things down with. I have glitter glue to stick down my napkins with. Which I probably wouldn't generally use glitter glue for this, but that's a okay. Um, interesting. He really gave me a interesting lot of stuff, and I'm definitely going to do this challenge again because I think this is super fun. Even though I might seem like I'm struggling, and I am, I do think this is super super fun. So we'll add in these cute houses. We'll add in some of these little branches over to the side here. Let's just start off by gluing this down. Let's do, let's get started. I feel like I'm just sort of a little bit lost, a little bit confused, and sort of just doing nothing because I, oh dear, here we go, it's all coming now. Doing nothing because I don't know what I'm doing. And then this video will go too long and my iPad will die and I'll run out of space and that won't be great. Here we go. Had a good amount. So that will stick down. I've got glitter all over my fingers now. Awesome. And I got glitter all over the page. I'm really not talented with glitter glue. And so I don't often pull for my glitter glue because I do end up getting glitter everywhere. Which, like, don't get me wrong. I am a glitter girl. I love glitter. But I don't necessarily want it on everything. So let's add some of this painter's tape. He, my husband, in case you didn't know, which you probably don't, is my painter is actually, a, uh, my painter is a husband. My husband is a painter. He is a, he has his 
um, the print, he, not an apprenticeship, he's finished that. He is a tradesman and he is a painter. He's a very, very good painter. So in case any of you in New Zealand are looking for a painter, let me know. Um, my husband is excellent. Um, so he's obviously grabbed this tape. I actually may have had this in my craft room. I do often steal this tape for my crafts because I think that, I don't know, there's something kind of cool about painter's tape. I'm going to add a little bit of black. I like black. I know a lot of people junk journaling seem to shy away from black or really dark colours, but I'm actually quite a fan of it. I enjoy a bit of black here and there. So this page probably isn't going to have like a stack, stack, stack on it because I don't have a stack, stack, stack to work with. I'm only allowed to use these things here. So I'm going to try and use as much of it as I can, but I don't have a whole lot I can work with. Let's round the corners just to say we use something else. Oh, this. I got this corner rounder on AliExpress and it kind of sucks. But, you know, when you pay that little for something, yeah, you kind of got to expect it. But it really does suck. I often end up cutting it. It leaves most of it on there and then I just use the line that I've got left from the dent that it made to cut with my scissors. Oh, that one worked, good. Maybe this, because this um, card is a little, well, it's a little bit thicker, scrapbooking paper, it's almost cardboard, sort of. Um, maybe that's cutting through it better. I do think it doesn't like soft paper. Excuse me, having another sip of my tea. So, do we want to use a napkin? I haven't used a napkin in a while, actually, for any of my journaling or crafting. So maybe, oh, I've got two here. Maybe I should pick out, maybe like this cool dragonfly or something. I do like that dragonfly. It is pretty awesome. So, I might just sort of cut around it to get it off the napkin. And then, I'm sorry if I'm going out of frame here. This desk is larger than what is in frame, and so I've been kind of using the whole desk, but actually I need to remember that you guys don't want to just see nothing. So I need to remember to kind of try and stay in frame. Not that what I'm doing right now is hugely interesting, but, you know, at least it's something. At least there's some movement to draw your eyes in. I hope you've all had a really awesome week this week, or are uh, having an awesome week. I don't know what day this video is going to go up on YouTube, but I hope that so far this week has been excellent, whether it is a Monday, a Wednesday, or a Friday. They seem to be the days that I most often post to YouTube, um, with the occasional extra video. But I, my, my aim really is to post three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's my goal. And hopefully I'll about be able to keep going and continue to achieve that. I've been doing all right with that so far, but I am very new to YouTube, as you're probably very aware. And so, you know, at the start, I've got all these fun ideas. And as I go on, I, might, I may get worse and worse at it. Who could say? I hope not. I, I have high hopes. Okay, I've got to peel the backing off here. This is a very, very thin napkin. It only has the one layer. So we'll add a bit of glitter glue. Back of this. I have not ever used glitter glue for napkins. This is sort of tricky as I don't have anything to like wipe it around with either. Like I normally wouldn't just put lumps on. I normally use a glue stick for this sort of thing but well I'm following the challenge. I am not cheating. I am using just the glitter glue, which was my adhesive that was given. I told James he needed to include at least one adhesive. Something, even if it was just washi tape or just a stapler or whatever, he needed to give me something to be able to stick stuff down with. Because honestly, I don't think he would even think about it. He, it was really funny. I was in, in here, which is the room, it's our spare bedroom, but it's the room that I use for filming. And he was across the hallway in my crafting room. Um, picking out craft supplies but I wasn't allowed in while he was choosing obviously because I didn't want to know what he had picked out for me I wanted it to be a complete surprise which it really was um glitter fingers and I could just hear him <laughs> saying over there he he talks to himself quite a lot he's he just mutters away and I could just hear him saying oh I don't even 
know what some of these things are on me and I'm just putting them in. <laughs> just It just made me laugh, his little chatter, about how he has no idea what these things are. He's just throwing stuff in there. But I think he's done a great job. He said, do you want me to make this easy or hard? And I said, well, that's up to you. And I, knowing him, this the level of difficulty will be quite deliberate. He will not be trying to make this easy on me at all. And he hasn't. He's made this pretty tricky. He's a real competitive sort of, well, he's not really competitive, but, you know, he likes he likes challenges and he likes to challenge me um, and push me outside my comfort zone sometimes because I am a real, I'm a real um, comfort person. I could easily just do nothing. Well, not do nothing. Gosh, not do nothing. But, you know, I could easily just stay home and do my easy little crafts and have, have you know in a quiet comfortable environment but he likes to push me and get me out and do things that are challenging and you know he's that kind of guy and I love him for it I think we should add that charm that he made for me on because you know he included it why not I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it but we will find a way here it is like, this is not how I would generally attach my charms, but James doesn't know that. So <laughs> I would normally use a safety pin, like a bulb pin, or um, maybe a paper clip or something like that. But James would have just been very literal and would have thought, how do you attach something with a hole in it? And tie it on with a piece of string. And so that's what we will do. We will tie it on with a piece of string. And he's given me this massive circle punch to punch a hole with, nothing else. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to attach it. Maybe I could use some washi tape to keep it attached here. Or maybe I'll just use my scissors and poke a hole in the page. I'll, that's what I'll do, I'll poke a hole. And I might actually reinforce it with some of this washi because I do think that that's going to tear the page. So I might just pop a wee bit of that washi over and then we'll poke a hole again through there just to keep that page a little bit stronger. See if I can poke through this washi. Yep, it's going, it's going. It's messy as, but you know, this is my personal junk journal. I don't care if it's messy. This is just, you know, it's just my own personal journal. I'm not making this to sell. I'm not making this for anyone else. This is just, ooh, jeepers, just a fun, um, project for myself. I like journaling. I like making journals. I like writing in journals and decorating them. So, you know, who cares? Who cares if it's not perfect? It's just for me. Let's see if I can get this through. That was kind of a mission to make a hole in there and it hasn't especially worked. So it's just pushing that back layer of washi tape up rather than actually pushing a hole through it. So we'll see if we can get the string through here and then through this washi. Maybe I'll just push a little bit of a hole back on here. There we go. Jeepers creepers. This is not easy. And this is why I don't usually use string. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. And now I'll just tie it up here. I could probably have found an easier way to do this, but nonetheless, this is the way I have found to do this. So that's what we're going with. And I like it. I do. I like it. I think that I like that James has given me this little challenge. I am very fond of James, obviously. He's my husband. Um, yeah. So I, I like it when he gives me little fun challenges like this. We've never done this before. This is quite new, but I think it's fun. So I think the journaling I'm going to do on here will be about the challenge because I don't see how any of this matches really together for me to use. So I think it's just going to be a page where I journal about um, James and about how he came up with this, these little items. He put together these items for me. I'm definitely going to do this challenge again, definitely. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me do this challenge again, if you would like um, for me to make sure I film it next time, or if you just think I should, you know, if 
you know, I can just do it at home just personally because I enjoy it myself. Um, so just let me know if you think this was a fun challenge and if you think that um, you'd like to see it happen again. So we'll add a bit of glue on the back of here. Okay. And there we go again. Big blob of glitter glue. It's all over my fingers. It's all over the page. I'm a mess. But it does seem to wipe off my page when it's still wet pretty easily, which is nice. So I'm going to add that there. Then what else are we going to add? Because I feel like it needs, it definitely needs something else, but he just hasn't given me stacks to work with. There's just not as much as I'm used to. But this is the challenge. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people at home don't have all this stuff. They don't have all the things I have. And so it's, you know, it can be handy to see somebody's, you know, using just a really small amount because that might be all that these other newbies have. I, however, although I'm not like, I wouldn't say I am, have been doing junk journaling for long. I haven't been doing junk journaling for that, that long at all, but I have been crafting for quite a long time and scrapbooking and card making and things like that. And so I would say that I have a lot of supplies. I have a lot, lot, lot of supplies. So I, and they all seem to work for junk journaling. Um, so that's really handy. I think I'm going to use the quote that James said that I don't even, I wrote it down last night on a sticky note. I don't even know what some of these things are, man. I'm just putting them in. I'm going to write that on here. Oh, that wasn't the pen he gave me. This was the pen he gave me. Let's hope he picked one, a pen that still works. Yep, seems to work. I don't even know what some of these things Ah, uh, man. I'm just putting them in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just, <laughs> I just find him so funny sometimes. So I'm going to write up here. Um, I don't know if I can write on this tape or not. I'll give it a go. Um, James, I don't think this is going to stay. <laughs> Journaling challenge. Oh, I honestly think this is going to wipe straight off. Let me use this bit of napkin and see if it is. Oh, I did smudge it, but it hasn't come right off. Um, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love that title. I wish I had a label. <laughs> What can I find in this book? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what can I find in here that I could use as kind of a label? This little maze is kind of cute. I could sort of cut in the middle part so I'm not cutting out Winnie the Pooh. As much as I love Winnie the Pooh, I just haven't planned on using him for this page. But yeah, I think I might cut out that maze and sort of stick it on there. Here we go. I think that will, yep, that will cover it. I think I only need about half of it though. I don't need that whole thing. Just pop that on there and I'll write again, James Journaling Challenge. I just want to get a bit of a, oh jeepers, a bit of a better, a bit neater handwriting perhaps. James Journaling Challenge. I'm just gonna I'm hoping that I don't just go ahead and smudge this as well. Because this paper is kind of it's sort of like magazine shiny. So I just don't know how well it's gonna work with this type of pen. Like I think a biro would have been fine. Um but with this kind of almost like 
I don't know what, this is just a uni pin, uni pin, fine line, what brand is it, uni pin I guess, um, yeah, I just feel like it might smudge, I'm not doing a very neat job of this writing at all, I'm a little ashamed of this writing to be honest, um, but that's okay, like I said earlier, it is just my journal, it's not for other people, I wouldn't write like this in someone else's journal, I'm only doing this in my journal because it doesn't really matter. It's just my journal. I have messy handwriting. I can accept that. So now I will glue this down over the top of the old handwriting. I hope we're still filming because I had the other day had my camera. Yep, good. We're still going. Sorry, I just had to stand up and check. My um, iPad, which I film on, is too high up. I can't sit down and work and see my camera. So I have no idea ever if I'm in frame. And I have no idea if I'm still filming or if it is completely shut down. So I always end up getting to the end of my video and being like, oh, I have nothing. Mm. So there we go. I like that extra layer there. I do think that layering is important in journaling. Adding extra, 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 you know, all the... <clears throat> Texture and um, layers, I think, really does make a journal. So I'm going to maybe use this part over here as another wee label, maybe up here or something, and then I will find something that I can journal on down the bottom here. Let's see. Oh, I could use this. I could write over the top of that little um, order form. Let's use that. Let's get it bent. I like the colours on this. I'm a warm colours sort of person. I really love my golds and yellows and autumny colours. And so I do think that this... Um, really has a lot of those nice warm colours in it um, and I really love black as well so he has picked out colours I think that he knows I would like okay so I'm going to write on here about this challenge I'm writing James sent me a journal challenge I might put journaling journaling challenge challenge wrong there we go fixed it no nope, haven't now I have how many supplies did he pick out for me ten ten Picked out 10 supplies. Oh, 11. Pen. Don't think I counted the pen. So we had one pen, two black washi, like glitter washi, three yellow painter's tape. Circle punch. Five. Um, corner rounder. Six. French magazine. French children's magazine. 
just putting mag because mm, I can't fit it all. Uh, a napkin. Eight glitter glue. Scissors was number nine. String and a charm were the other two. So ten was string. And eleven was a coin charm. I can barely read that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think that was the easiest paper to use to write on. I maybe could have just written on the background. I don't know. The background's quite busy, and so I don't know that it would have been much easier to read if I hadn't put it on anything and honestly I just like the layering like I said before I like adding the texture I do think it makes a big difference to um, your overall look of it so I'm going to add a bit more washi around that where I can because I don't really want to cover up much of it at all because everywhere is written on like every spare spot basically is written on and I don't really want to lose my text I really could have, I don't know, maybe used more of that. So what am I going to write on this bit? Because I do want to use it. I like the, the continuity between using it on here and on there. It's sort of coming up a bit on here. Let's see if I can get that stuck down. Um, I kind of want to try and use everything. So I want to try and use a little bit of this pink ribbon here. And I want to use my circle rounder. I am hoping this isn't getting too dark. It's really grey outside. And unfortunately... Um, the light bulb is blown in here <laughs> so I'm doing this basically in the dark and I know that sort of sucks and I'm hoping that it's still actually visible who do I like the look of out of here I just want to find one of these like little pictures and use my circle punch to punch around it maybe I'll do this little because that's already in the shape of a circle I think that would actually fit quite well so let's pop it in there my circle around it doesn't quite fit. I'm just going to have to trim. I'll trim it down a bit. And then I should be able to fit it in, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. I've got to sort of <laughs> oh no, I've cut it too small. And now I've got to shake it into place before I cut it. Because it's going to not cut the circle I want. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to try and... Like of something out here like this. Now I've got something to hold on to and adjust a little bit. It's not really working because it is just sticking. So let's fold it over. So it can just stick to itself. Gee, because this is an absolute mess of a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. I am trying. Hopefully you guys still enjoy it. There we go, got it. These little kids are quite cute, I think. We'll add them on. So we've used the circle punch. I think we've used just a, a bit of just about everything now, which is really good. It's just the pink ribbon. How on earth I'm going to attach that pink ribbon, I don't know. I'm going to either have to tie a wee bow up the top here, or I'm going to have to use glitter glue and try and glue it on. Um, so we'll use the glitter glue here on this, and we'll stick down our little cute little kids I don't know what that says I'll have to google it find out what it actually means in French hold it down for a bit because it is a little bit not really wanting to stick but there we go we're doing well guys we're doing well we really are using a little bit of everything this is not sticking I mustn't have got the glue right to the edge on here we'll try again Worst case scenario, I get my painter's tape and I make a little double over and stick it down that way. Hopefully that'll stick. That does seem to be holding on better. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. What am I going to use as my... What am I going to write on here? Um, I think I'm going to write more challenging than expected. Because it really, really has been more challenging.
than expected. Ex oh, jeepers, my spelling is awful today. I'm generally not a bad speller, but today I'm just all over the place. I don't know if it's because you guys are watching me spell that's making me like all over the show. I don't know, but generally I'm not bad today. Awful. Absolutely awful. Now I've got to decide where I want to put it up here. Down here, down here. I kind of want to do it up here. I just think it sort of balances it a little bit more. Putting it up over here. Um, okay, so now we just have to figure out what we're going to do with this pink ribbon. What on earth? I think I might have to tie a little bow up in the top corner with it because I just cannot think of anything else to do with it. But I just, like, I don't have to use, that was not the challenge, was not having to use everything. But I just feel like I've come this far. Why not? I've used everything else. Why not make it a use absolutely everything kind of situation? So we've shoved a little hole in there. It's rough. It's rough as, but you know. This is junk journaling, right? It's supposed to be junk. <laughs> this journal really will turn out to be trash. But that's alright. Because it will be special. It will be filled with the memories, won't it? So that's okay with me, really. This is so much more difficult than it should be. Here we go. Let's tie a cute little bow at the top. This is not something I would usually do, I don't think, but for this challenge, why not? Have any of you guys ever done this sort of a challenge before where you've got your husband to set you perimeters on your journaling? If you have, please let me know, especially if you have... Um, made a video about it, I would love to watch it, And but even if you haven't, just let me know about it, because I think it's super fun, even though you might, have, might be watching this thinking, she's not finding that fun, that's hard, it's hard, it is hard, he has, he has made it our challenge, but I have enjoyed myself, it's always good to be pushed outside of your comfort zone just a little bit, and to create something new, so here we go, my journaling page, all complete about this challenge, about being given my things to use on this page that I wouldn't normally pick but I actually don't mind how it turned out I think the colors will kind of work together I'm pretty happy with that and that's all for now thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later if you like this challenge please subscribe to my channel um, and let me know in the comments what you think about it and um, that would be really great it's always good to get feedback from you guys okay so I'll see you later. Bye.